Welcome back to the Coach Derek Burrow Show. Uh, we're here with sophomore quarterback Marcus Reynolds. We're here with senior Javante Kelly and senior Justin Hill. Uh, Coach Burrows, so these are some of the guys that are going to be carrying the team this year. Uh, talk to us a little bit about them, and then we'll ask them some questions so that we can all, the rest of Jackson, get to know them as well. Well, these are these are three guys that uh, the Lane College Dragons is kind of uh, putting our hat on. Uh, uh, they are, uh, we feel that they are extensions of coaches on the field. Uh, they're our team captains, and uh, we're going to expect a whole lot out of all three of them. And in order for us to go as a team, these three guys got to go. Uh, so uh, we got a lot on the shoulder, and but and I think they're they're ready for the challenge. Excellent. Uh, Marcus, you're coming back in your second year as a sophomore quarterback. Uh, talk to us a little bit about your experience uh, from last year. It definitely was a great experience, but, you know, I learned a lot. Um, I learned more on how to be a leader. You know, this offseason has been a lot of work, so uh, we're looking forward to a great season this year. Excellent. Uh, Javante, you are uh, you're one of the leaders uh, on and off the field here as well. Uh, so talk to us a little bit about what the defense is going to need to do this year in order to win some games and then to stop others from scoring. Oh, we definitely we want we have to have all hats to the ball. And one of the quotes that I said this year that I'm real big on is we have to get to the ball early, fast, and hard. Uh, Justin, uh, you guys are you're a senior. What do you tell incoming freshmen and sophomores? Um, you know, what is it, what, as a leader, what do you tell your team before you guys go into the game or before you guys go into game one against Texas College? Um, most of all, you, you got to play with confidence. Uh, every day is going to be a grind. Uh, you got to realize every team that we play, um, play against, uh, every team in the country is uh, basically doing and striving for the same goals uh, we are. And it's about who wants it the most. And uh, that's going to uh, determine the outcome of games and wins and losses. Kelly, was there a game from last year that really stood out to you that you said, you know, this year we're going to make sure we're going to make it happen this year? Um, Bethune-Cookman. Every game we need to come out how we play Bethune-Cookman with excitement, determination, and the will to want to go to the ball, get to the ball. Uh, Marcus, you had a phenomenal uh, first year last year, ran some, uh, a lot of touchdowns and made a lot of uh, passes. Uh, so talk to us a little bit about uh, some of the uh, offensive line that's going to be there working with you this year and some of the running backs and the wide receivers that you guys have seen already in camp uh, in the first part of the season. Uh, this year we got a lot of great talent this year. Uh, a few returners and uh, running back, new running back Marcus Holiday. Uh, he should be pretty good for us this season. Uh, and a couple of new offensive linemen. So we should be better. We should be better than last year. Coach, uh, again, these are some of the guys that you guys are going to be putting, uh, that are going to be leading the team uh, this year. So are there other young players that you've seen so far that have impressed you this year uh, at camp or during practice? Well, you know, these three guys are the core of our offense and our defense. But, you know, uh, some, some uh, young freshman guys have really opened our eyes. Uh, uh, Isaiah Thomas, a freshman receiver from Mitchell High School. Barry Alexander, who's a corner from uh, Alabaster, Alabama, Thompson High School, uh, Malik Thompson. He's also another freshman corner. That uh, all three of these guys are our future. Uh, and, uh, and and when I look at them and I watch them in practice every day, I see them getting better every every day. Uh, and they will play this year for us. So um, we're looking forward to these guys leading the young guys. Uh, and uh, Improving our record from last year. Excellent. Uh, back to Justin. Uh, one more question for you, Justin. Um, was there a game that stood out to you from last year's season um, that that you really say, you know, I want to make sure I play like this game or better than this game this year? Uh, like my teammates stated, uh, the Bethune Cookman game. Uh, that's probably the the most enthusiastic and. Uh, uh, most probably the best talent I played against since I was here. Um, everybody played lights out, uh, was getting to the ball, played fast. Um, and like he said, basically we need to come out like that every Saturday uh, to contend in this conference. Excellent. So without giving away all of our strategies and our secrets, 
to the fans here in Jackson. Uh, talk to us, um, any one of you, about what you guys plan on doing against Texas College uh, without necessarily giving away some of our plays and stuff. But what is it going to take to win game one? Uh, this whole week of practice, we just have to be focused. You know, when the game gets here, we're going to execute. We're going to play hard, and uh, the best will come out of that. Applying pressure. <laughs> what do you say? Applying pressure. Applying pressure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's going to take a lot of that. I mean, uh, and you guys have been working extremely hard during camp. Uh, I know we've seen we've seen a lot of you guys out here working and working really hard. And so it's going to take a lot of determination uh, and a lot of hard work. But you guys have already put in the time, so really appreciate that. Coach, um, talk to us a little bit about the game plan as, you know, you've got 10 weeks that are every single weekend. And you've got injuries, you've got uh, fatigue, all kind of stuff. How do you keep your players healthy? Um, throughout the week? Well, the weekend. Um, to be honest, camp is very hard on your body. And, mm. and, and uh, we had a lot of rain days where we had to go inside and I pulled the pads off of them. So uh, I thought that this camp was a lot easier than camps in the past because I pulled the pad off, pads off them a lot. Uh, and, uh, and then over the last couple of days, uh, Friday and Saturday, they were off. And uh, yesterday, uh, they just ran. So um, I was trying my best to be as smart as I can about making sure that we go into September 3rd uh, as healthy as possible. So. Great. <coughs> uh, Marcus, um, again, as a, as a young quarterback, how do you deal with the pressure of uh, keeping calm and keeping your team uh, motivated? And I know there's a new offensive coordinator this year. So how are you adjusting also to, to the new uh, plan from the offensive coordinator? Uh, just really just hard work and dedication. You know, got to come in every day uh, looking to learn and uh, improve as a player and as a leader. So how are you adjusting to some of the changes that have been made on, on the offense? Uh, it's not really much of a difference. I've been playing football my whole life, so uh, I'm ready for what's to come. Great. Uh, Coach, would you go, uh, talk to us a little bit about some of the defensive plans that you guys have this year? Um, are there a lot of changes from the years past, or are we going to well, see? No, we're going to we're going to run the same defense we ran last year. Um, hopefully, we won't make uh, as many mistakes as we made last year. One of the biggest problems we made defensively last year is we could not get off the field on third down, and uh, it really hurt us. Uh, and teams piled up yards on us. And uh, uh, this year, we'll have more of a ball <coughs> control offense, which will keep the defense off the field. So, and that's the game plan, you know, to run the football and stop the run. Great. Uh, now, I know the, uh, our student athletes here have talked a lot about the Bethune-Cookman game. And you and I, we had a conversation after that game last year. Right. Um, and, you know, it's a Division I team. You know, we're a Division II right. team. And I know none of that really matters, uh, as, as you stated last year. But when we went into, uh, when you went into that game, you specifically said that um, when you went in, you guys really played at a great defensive uh, game. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you go ahead and just share with us for a few seconds what you did there. I thought we played lights out. Um, and um, it was a great game for us. And it sticks out in my mind. It sticks out in the player's mind. That's why we kind of, you know, that's kind of why they keep referring to the Bethune game. Probably the best defensive game we played. Great. Uh, stay tuned with us as we're going to go and meet our coaches next. And we're going to go to a commercial break.